Oh, did I just go HD on him? I think I did. You can see my soul through my pores. So here's your next installment of the Inconsistently Consistent NFL Fantasy Live. I don't know what installment this is. I don't know what week it is. Yes, the production of NFL Live has stepped up, but it's not because anyone has paid their league dues. We still have like five, six people that have to pay. That's a look. And, uh, yeah. So I've been brainstorming ways of how I can get all you guys to pay money. And so, today I'm going to try public censure. Who's the first on my list? I got, we got Secrets of War. And they still owe the whole 25. You ain't paid $25 yet. You don't got $25. You working overtime. 15 hour shifts. Look at my lip. Look at my lip. Next we got is, uh, oh you fancy, huh? So, Jules, you got money to buy every hair care product known to man. You, uh, you just stepped your game up at the 7th Street Beauty. 10th Street, 11th Street, I don't know which street it's on, it, it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant at this point. I just know that you got 550 nail polish colors, you don't think you could like sell two of them and get $25 for me? Come on. I know that you're sad, you don't have Aaron Rodgers this year, you're doing horrible in the league, but you can't punish the rest of the league for your bad doing, playing, fantasy, you fancy. It ain't tricking if you got it. And if you don't got it, it is tricking, but I need you to trick. Just give me my money. Who else? 40 nanners. Oh no, you paid. Good girl. Golf clock. Next we got the dopest bet. Every gadget known to man. You can't give me $25. $25 probably isn't even the tax of all your gadgets. Any one of them. How about you don't give Fabby the iPad Mini this year and just give her an iPod Nano and then give me 25 bucks. Sacrifices. Commitment. Relentless. Redeem me. The last one isn't really a word. It's like... It's a combination of relentless and malignant. It's to always stay relentless, you know? Oh, that's hot. Really smart. Agent 187. Uncle. Still haven't paid your money. But you're in first place or second place. You have a good probability of winning. And if you don't pay and you win, I'm giving the money to the next best person. Which is going to be me. I just mean like best person overall, not in the standings. But like, who do I think is the best person in the league? And I obviously think I'm the best. So if the first person doesn't get the money, it's going to me. So you should probably do a 187 on someone. Maybe get some money. Yeah, that's a way to get money. Be a hitman. All eyes on me, you know where my room is, and I know where you live, so, you know, you get my money. Bad Mamma Jamma, thank you for paying. Got a lovely check. Payback. Thank you for paying as well. Good man, man of his word, man of honor, man of faith. But it's on me, Jeff Wah. Hmm, you're a spark now. Regulators. It's your first year in the league and I think you were the first one to pay. I like that. Give you a booty clap for that. Sandusky showers. I know you drink $25 worth of beer in a day. So, you know, just take a day off. Send me the money. And the gold rush. Pete, you sent me $20 when the fee was $25. But I thought about it and I will give you the military discount, so you're good. Just make sure when I play you this next week, you sit all of your players because I need to get in the playoffs. You already got you're already locked in, man. It doesn't hurt you. Just do it or kick you out of the league. So it's your choice. <laughs> I love how I can be such a bully when it's just me and the camera. Oh, but if you're still one of those people that haven't paid yet, you might as well wait until the end of your time playing because you have to pay the 25 cent per transaction fee too. So kind of give you a little bit of time. So after this week, you should probably send the money in for all you non-playoff people. So since there's only one week left, I figure I'd just talk about the playoff hunt. We've got four teams, hopefully they'll be somewhere around here, that are already in the playoffs. 
the dopest Agent 187, Gold Rush, and Payback. Oh, Mark got in there, huh? After the worst fantasy performance I've ever seen in my life by someone who was trying, that guy gets fourth place. He has a solid, solid place to be in. I'm giving golf clap. No, booty clap. Is that pretty big? That's a big booty clap. So then, for all the teams that are in the hunt, so Ronald's basically in, unless me, the 49ers, the regulators all win their games and he loses. So it was basically just a fight for the sixth spot in the playoffs. And I want it, I need it. Now, I got myself in a dog fight. I need Elise to lose. So I'm gonna have to ask Sandesky Showers, Louie, set your lineup just this one week. You have someone that's on the IR in your lineup. Please, just this once, just once. Okay, and Lou, if you love me like I think you love me, you would set your lineup. Because you know what? I might, I'll love you back. Maybe do stuff. I don't, I don't know. Probably not, but you know there's that little bitty chance that I'd be really happy and grateful for making the playoffs. So, take it or leave it, you know? Run with you want. You say bolt. And the dopest, I need you to beat the regulators because if you're really the dopest, you would do it, right? I mean, you're obviously not the dopest because you already have two losses. So, someone was doper than you at some time. I believe in you this week, though. I believe you could fly. Oh, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Auntie Tisha for beating Elise this week. That was huge. I needed I needed Elise and uh, Andrea to lose, and they both did. Thank you. That was for you, Auntie Tisha. I just want to let you know it's really hard for me to give you a booty clap when <sighs> it's hard to talk about when you know how much I like TVs and and you go and you give Gracie a new TV on Christmas and it's like 32 inches. I don't know. <laughs> I, you, you know I like TVs. Why don't you get me one? Uh, I hate 12 inch TVs. She doesn't even watch football. Why did you get HD? Honey Boo Boo looks good in normal TVs. Her belly looks smaller. Get this camera. The camera out of my face. <laughs> and if you got it, that was my impression of Farah. Oh man, my eye was kind of getting watery. Shit, I, I'm kind of convincing as an actor to myself at least. And Auntie Tisha has the longest shot to still get in the playoffs if Purple Rain, Regulators, 40 Nanners, if they, if they all lose and she wins, then. She's in there, because I think she has the most points, so she'll have the tiebreak. Okay, so the first word goes to Bad Mamma Jamma. Hold on, can you help me pull that knife out of my back? The knife is like the TV that you gave Grace. You win the award for big win of the week because you beat Elise to keep me in the playoff hunt, which is most important, but you also kept yourself in the playoff hunt. You really needed the win. Now you need to go out and get another one and three more losses, which isn't going to happen. But, you're still in there, kid. I bet you Gracie didn't tell you that. She doesn't motivate you like I do. I mean, she might motivate you to like be smart or something, get her masters. What's that good for, though? I teach you how to play fantasy football. It's more important. Priorities are the lessons here today. Priorities. I don't really know what other awards to give except for Award uh, the payback for they have a four game winning streak, which is the biggest in the league. So there you go. Yay! And I could give another one to Sandusky Showers and to the Regulators because they have four game losing streaks. Yay! Hang in there, guys. You can do it. You can't. You can't do it. Probably not. Uh, not, but not you, Sandusky. Set your lineup. You could really do it. Please. You have to do it. You got it. 
You gotta go home. You gotta go home. Alright, so now it's time for Donnie's Comedy 10 Seconds. Do you know the reason why I like to hang out with epileptic? Because I like to seize the day! <laughs> I feel like that might have been a joke, but I thought it up myself, so... Do you know why redheads are natural celebrities? Because they're used to the red carpet! <laughs> Do you know why skunks are nature's masochists? Because the way they go into ovulation is being beat up by the male skunk. I understand that might not be funny to some people, but it's true, at least you're learning something here. I think it's funny. I had a skunk problem. I looked it up. I didn't have like a skunk sex problem. It was like, there were skunks in my front yard. It wasn't like, why isn't she ovulating? Oh, I gotta beat her up first. So that's it for this edition of Fantasy Football Live. If that's what I call it, I think that's what I call it. I'm your boy, D. D. Taney. D. Taney Guantanamo. And I will see you hopefully in the playoffs.